can beat NIP coming in a little bit cold. Never mind. I was going to say colder into this series, given that they are the team that had the bye, and this would be their first playoff match as Elise does respond and get a shot back. Speaking of cold, Rez got up to something a little bit hot during his time off between the group stages and playoffs. He was apparently boiling potatoes and spilled the hot water all over his feet and was on crutches for a period of time due to how badly he burned himself. So that's kind of shitty. You hate to see that. Potatoes. Yeah. You love to see Elige at the moment. Quad kill in the round for him with that P250. Making it work. Gonna get tagged down very, very low. S-tag finds OC. Elige looking for that ace, but he doesn't want to overcommit. Doesn't want to leave his teammate. He's got it. All five kills shots but i don't think they'll have heard that those ones they certainly will have heard they'll have felt because he gets a leash down as well plopsky into oc and even though shocks is able to get one back bomb gets planted it's still gonna be a tough ask for liquid nap they're gonna get together lost a little bit of hp but did significant damage onto s tag now holding together oh that flash Luckily, they're both able to face the wall. They won't have lost their vision the whole time, but he expects them to be there. Does not expect to. Surely not as Naf comes back out, but 40 HP. Has to cover off for two more players. That name could catch out as tag. He just barely gets behind the box. Jumping for information. He'll see one. Knows the other is swung, and Naf tries to get to the pistol. Okay. Not enough time to get the kill or the defuse, so he's got to run it away, and Naf does just enough. Oh, man. The doubles. Nothing. Congrats. <laughs> All I need. Oh, well, there goes OC in middle. Shocks. Oh, this is brutal. Biding his time. If he can get one more down low, it's low HP. Transfers downward. Can't find it. Can't find either of them. And this hit's just going to slip away. The one saved AWP does its job. A singular kill on the op so far. I think you just stick this. Just get the money yep. out of it. He's got smokes off. Oh, he's... Yeah, okay. All right, fair enough. He heard something, obviously. Lurking toward waiting on that smoke for it to dissipate his nap oh. immediately for the plant and that's the lineup we're talking about here chalks almost inadvertently body block that the shot somehow missed both and chalks gets only good for one but here's that's a tag a leash nearly lined up them both i thought that was a double for sure instead it all comes back to nitro he's got the awp eight hp Hear the communication between NIP. Now they know where the AWP is. Jumping across, Rez has made it on Nate as well. They know he's low. It's going to absolutely nail him just barely. If he was a little bit to the right, may have gotten away with it, but a defuse and two in a row for NIP. Yeah, no right no, the timing of everything is crazy. Yeah. Okay, Rez is going to find it. Yeah, his teammate just taking a shot, so Shox is looking in that direction, taking the attention. Two entries from Nitro. S-Tag and Plopsky couldn't get together. Smoke is going to be out, but foos he's got another one. That's a third kill. And that quick shot down the lane that we've seen the past few rounds from him with that up. Three on three in the post plant. Elige has a real late backstab. I don't think they'll consider it. I don't even think they're going to look in this direction if this retake takes too long. Elige is going to be really, really in a great position. OC with one. That should slow things down. That gives time for Elige to slow crawl through the smoke and get activated. Fuzi not looking behind. Elige timing the smoke. And that should be an easy frag in the back. And Rez, you know where one is. All you really can do here is stick to the bomb. Taps it. No one's going to peek. They do now. I think you're right. Maybe you're just trying to hold that. They would have been on it. There wasn't much. Plant position from Shoxy. He's going to reconsider his life choices and find a bit more safety. Yeah, he is. Unfortunately, he's not that safe going toward the CT connector. Fuzi finds him on the AWP, and it's the advantage by one on the retake to Nip, who are thinking very seriously about going for this. Nitro's going to bypass middle. Shots toward Donut. Now, that should signal that he's going to be on the flank, but they aren't looking that direction yet. Elise needs to buy space, and Nitro, now he's too far removed, or is he? Do they suspect his presence? Do they know where he's gone? He's got to get closer. No, he can see the bomb. He can see the backside. He's got just enough. But a kitten play, Fuzi will get the round, and it'll be seven to four. So your first out from the gate, Fuzi somehow spots the flash coming through. It was called out by his teammate, likely on the ramp, and S-Tag is that man. He'll fire up against OC. He may have lost a teammate, but uh, it's just the battle, not the war, because this round is still going their direction. Fuzi on the pistol, catches out shocks, and it's all on an F. 7-7, they finally tie the game. It took them a while. We thought we were going to get there at 4-4. Would be cool if they could snatch away the lead in the final round. They might have a great chance. There's not a whole lot of money on the Team Liquid side. Naf trying to take away what he can, but money doesn't so much matter for NIP. They've got plenty of cash. Oh, I was going to say, if he finds Hampus, there's a big flank. He's trying 
get some taps through. The did room. he re hit res? <laughs> I think he did. That's the crazy. I heard it. Thing. I heard a body hit it. So did I. That's why I was like, man, that's a USP. But I think he's not shooting to get damage. He's shooting strictly for that sound cue. So Nitro may get an idea if there's someone there or not. No, I just found it funny. There's only one point of damage taken away. <laughs> yeah, no, it's ridiculous, right? I, I was, I, I thought I heard it too, and I was like, watch, this will be one of those things I call out, and I'm crazy. But yeah, I think we, you're absolutely right. I think he might be right as well. I think the sound cue would have been everything if he was able to grab that. There, so long as you have the extremities covered off. That kit's dropped in the back corner, remember, Matt? It was on a leash. Good point. Nitro, meanwhile, still trying to find a way back in as Nav has vision and an opening, but they're covering off back lanes so well that Nitro's not yet pushed through. There's no chance they're going to peek toward the cave. They're running out of time on the liquid side. They need to go very soon, and soon they go. They get two. Rez, though, is in a lovely position, but OC's clearing it. And Liquid back to winning ways. We'll find number eight. Nicely done. Almost a huge trap set up. OC watching the deep angle covers his teammates. Middle, which means Hampus and s have confidence to just walk right through the smoke in mid. Rez has that opening kill. Elysia's blinded, but still finds the headshot and backs away with 66 HP remaining. OC staring down middle, just barely missing out on an opportunity for a crouch player who snuck by. S tag is inside a donut, so Nitro's going to need to be aware of this. As S tag gets a clean lineup toward the ruined position. Elish clearing down toward the gate, and Naf with no one inside of sight. Liquid's already going to try and collapse over toward this A side of the map, however. Fousey's going to bring the bomb in. Still no smoke toward Ruins. It's a battle. A heads-up duel. Nitro's got to win, and he does that. But Bomb still gets planted because he's preoccupied. He's able to follow and find Fousey. Rez now with it all to do in a one-on-four. Is immediately going to find one, but get traded out by Naf. Through the box crack as Estag gets the shot into him. Naf gets the punishment in return, but Hampus, the second man, had never revealed himself. And surprise, surprise, comes out to get a kill. Ooh, OC. Right idea, right idea to lock them inside. Middle Shocks is going to chase them down. Liquid attempting some decent plays here, considering the map control and rotations, but unfortunately not getting the damage done. OC left on 13, and there was no real damage at all from Shocks. but as he rotates back, he essentially gets two because he gets Fousey, and Popsky, although getting him, gets killed by his teammate in Hampus. It leaves them in an advantage for Team Liquid, and that means Hampus is going to go hunting. OC gone! Spree through, and Nitro <laughs> holds his nerve. Oh, close. Sit at the apex of his jump long enough to be caught out. S tag boosted up silently. Elige gets hammered by him. And it's OC that needs to do the damage again as Nitro's removed already from Donut. Very clean take so far from an IP. OC damage there, but no kills still. As Naf has to come in and pick up the pieces, Rez gets the shot through the box with a Deagle, and Hampus is going to be a problem. He's already locking them both. I shouldn't say both because Shock's behind him, but locking certainly Naf in place. Did they consider it? I don't think so. Is it, I don't think that. I think he just looks for one more kill maybe and gets out. I think if Shox didn't take all that damage, they were definitely going to go for it. I think Naf still wants to investigate, see if he's given a freebie. But with that flashbang and not finding anything, I think you're right. Now is the time to just back away from Ruins. Good entries, good kills from Esatag. Double kill for him. Both the initial kills. I would love to get that off, but Fousey protecting the fallback. He's going to find one, and he'll live as the bomb explodes. Oh, no, he won't. Actually, all three players from NIP go down. That's getting inside of the site. Fousey trying to rotate that bomb over in uh -oh. that direction as well. Chalks can cut them off. Yeah, if he gets this bomb, uh, it rounds over. Fousey has to be careful. He's had a great game so far, and Shocks just listens. He just listens and waits. And now he knows they are trapped inside the bomb site. He's constricting upon this position. Fousey is checking the angle. What a stunning headshot. That might save them this round. You've got two other players coming this direction. Naf's one of them. He's just able to get the headshot back through the box. In the intern, we lost Rez. He's down to 18 HP. He got shot back in the back lines, which means they know he's going to peak the ramp, but that's not good enough. His aim oh. fails, and he turns. He finds a liege, and it might be map. There, might as well get some damage early. Shocks. 5-7 can be absolutely menacing. That smoke's going to dissipate. He smartly gets away as it does. Reading the signs, OC's got the opener. Shocks doesn't want to go yet, but as the flash comes out, he does. He'll drop the bomb temporarily. The AK's still coming around the corner, and Shocks, he'll double up on that. It's a one on three. But they lost a one on three in the last round to an AK. This time it's Fousey, not Rez. And he's already got the bomb down. Taking damage through the smoke, though he's tagged on a 53. It's still a workable situation. Inspired by Rez, but perhaps... That's become so evident and obvious over the 
course of this map. Here's the big flank. No more nades for NIP. Nitro that wants to be the one to arrive. Rez is watching toward Cave, but not the ramp. Fuzi hasn't turned it around yet, and there's so much action towards CT, they may have lost track of Nitro. They may not be aware of the numbers. Plopski's gonna get a liege down. Nitro needs to go now, he'll get Fuzi, but that gives up his position, and Osi's got a problem. They never checked Cave. It's all on Nitro to keep Liquid in this, to force out overtime a one on three. He's through the smoke. He'll tap the bomb, they know where he is, and he can't find the first kill and then a chunk of damage off of Elise as well who's not done there he goes back out Rez is gonna win that duel as well yeah but it's all about the stack it's all about these two players Naf and Osi the bomb drops it actually slides out of the door as well oh this is tough they're in a tough situation Fuzi goes down bomb is protected and Naf and Osi have combined to bring this you round know. back into favor Hampus finds one and now it's just Naf the issue with that almost in some ways was that they're a victim of their own success Naf gets the first kill they didn't know Osi was there as soon as he gets a kill in that position as well Hampus knew he could flank so Rez finally taken down but you're right the bomb is still in the possession of Naf, and they have to go deal with him eventually and inevitably as he is flashed off, stuck in a corner. Nitro will arrive. Perfect time. He's done damage to help his teammate, and Naf closes the round in a one-on-one. -on -one. Something special, but it's going to be so difficult. Shock's in the smoke. He's going to get behind him, but is he aware? I, they're basically holding hands. Bobski's taken off. He's charged through. He's made noise doing it. Shocks is behind them all. Walks out, and he's going to easily get a shooting gallery. Finds two. Snaps to the third. Brilliantly done on the M4 as they lost track of where he went inside of the smoke, and Naf will close it off with another double. What a play. 33 seconds, Shocks now knows they're going to be going. He's already toward Monster. Now just needs to stay alive, can't do it. They can't even get counter entries. And that means Shocks, oh, this man is just being so patient. This game is going to have to be perfect on entry. C'est parfait, mon ami, but he can't find. Oh, he does. Oh, see, he's back. That's Plops. You see, he can't find the second. Eventually, the flanked. The flanker, rather, excuse me, becomes the flanked, and OC jumping inside of the site on the AWP has two to find. Getting up close and personal, he's going to get aggressive, assertive. He does a kit to work with. Four kills so far in the game. He needs two now. There's a rifle down beside him, so if he takes one shot on the AWP, he could swap over to the M4 immediately after. But he is very comfortable in this situation. Molotov off to the sandbags. Doesn't want them to be able to peek through. Finds the first on S-Tag extremely quickly, and he'll tap. Does he hold? That's a risky play. He expects the other one to be short. Not even checking Monster yet, but here's him going in. Misses the shot toward the great. Gonna go back and look for it again, but this is too much time gone. And the round is out of reach. As Fuzi will go down afterwards, it doesn't matter. NIP get there first in the game. Oh, okay, fine. Not if he does that. Flash out. Good timing. Shocks. Fuzi gone. And that will encourage them more toward B. Nitro's ready for it. Finding the kill. <laughs> but I said it. They've been getting absolutely wrecked on the entries. Rez, that is stunning as he works in through the monster. He's going to work his way around toward barrels as well. And a flash to water. Second one. Get him closer still. Doubly blind. OC more like no C. Oh, I take it back. He can see perfectly when he comes back inside of the site. And two from Catwalk. It's all down to S-Tag. He was planting the bomb. They know he was on the platform. But the smoke makes it hard to judge where he is. Shocks with the trade. And like... And IP's going right at the man who can make a difference. He's got a lot of teammates with him. Good team. Rez is just so on point at the moment. Although OC does find him with a P250. He knows there's a low HP player there. S-Tag has the bomb, but no armor on OC. Means the aim punch is just brutal. Plopski walking up close towards truck. Naf is going to be here. Sees the shadow, sees the leg. Oh, gets a follow-up as he sinks back. This is doable, but S-Tag shuts him down. If Naf could have gotten away, it would have been everything. Hampus is going to challenge, but he doesn't have the HP to want to commit to that kind of a fight. So bomb gets planted. Hampus has a tough decision to make, and Nitro now realizes he's got a 1v1 inside of the bomb site. Oh, he's too quick to it, though. That stag him coming in was ready, poised. Inside the door, which I don't think anyone would expect considering Shox's flank, but we just mentioned this, how dynamic he can be in his feel for the game. Rotating around towards highway, it's just going to be Fuzi here. Hampus is going to bust out of that door at some point. They want Fuzi to make a distraction. Here comes Hampus, but Elise is there as well, so he's going to be held off. Nitro alone at the bomb site. Shox is able to add one more. It's just down to Rez and Esetag, and I don't think that's enough to break through this defense. Liquid looking good in these last few rounds. It's 90. Elige getting aggressive upstairs in coordination with the Shox getting aggressive in highway. They're going to turn to deal with Elige, and Shox is going to get taken down. The Tech Nines respond. Esetag and Plopski. Well done. They don't expect OC. Who doesn't want to fall back? He's going to hold strong steps into bathrooms. In fact, Naf is completely blind. Tech 9 is out again for S-Tag. This time it can do nothing. Oh, Hampus. Oh, no. That's the a Deagle. problem. The, well, the problem is that I, th I don't think OC had faith in his teammate, so he brought out the pistol to reverse clear front bathrooms, what? and he doesn't have the Deagle ready. Hampus gets caught doing the same. 
Shot out for Nitro. He'll take out Rez. Clears out the bathroom connector as well. And Fuzi's still waiting, though, at long. As you mentioned, this AWP had transitioned. And he's got the cartoon version of the Dragon Lore. Oh, Shot another out. tag. He's got Nitro, man. He's doing damage. Now he's getting killed. Shocks will go down. It's three players low and one that's reasonably healthy in the form of Naf. Need to get through, though. M4 is going to do a massive amount of damage against those weakened opponents, but Naf's still standing tall. Has one back. He's taken down. And Lee's low. Has to find Hampus and one-on-one -on -one that goes the way of NIP. His mater information is gathered. It's Naf and OC to start creeping in. Sun Barrel out. shows first, yeah. Rez is able to grab OC. Oh, oh. Ah, that is so sick! All three! Down a man after that double kill from this guy. Rez looking for his third. No success. Forced off. They know he's in the corner. He'll bounce a nade out. Hampus wanted to make amends with that. Slide into position with the AWP of OC again. And NAF on entry. Remember, they had six HP early on on one individual player. That's the one that just went down. It was such an easy scalp to take. His S tag, though, gets two back. And it's all on to NAF once more. He's clutched a 1v3 already. He's going to work it in. He's got an AK to work with, but the shot's early. Plopsky's able to recover. Resident and the retreat toward A. Good spot to get so much map control and they'll confidently stay over toward B where Fuzi will take down a Lee's missed shot. Does give OC one back. I don't think they're anticipating a second player to have slid into the barrel position again. Having done all this work to try and get into the site for a second time, very easily it can overlook trying to spray through the metal. Can't be done. Bomb is dropped and Naf's going to walk out. He does check it. Low HP on his tag. This is suddenly turned. Shocks or excuse me, rather, Naf versus Rez, and Rez removed from this position. He tries to tap it. There was four seconds. I think he could have held it, but he thought he was a little bit late, and Rez is even going to get him down after the time. Bottom of connector because he's uncertain as to whether or not someone's looking that direction from the sandbags. Not to walk out too far. Hampus does. Overextension. Gets caught out by Nitro, and now they spot Fuzi. He's missed a shot, but the Tech-9 will do for one more. Nitro gets that as well, and I think Rez has to back off of this. He's going to save. Liquid are at least going to secure overtime. Yeah, Hampus just a little over-eager, and Team Liquid get to 15 off the back of Tech-9s and a P250. A huge bust into that B-bomb site. Defenders can only go two for two. That'll be frustrating. So he wants to play the support. Double peek toward Monster too early. Oh, I say that. They are there. They weren't quite ready to go. There was no utility down. They step out and they get a kill. Naf manages one back. Nitro. He returns the favor they dished so many times to the right side of Monster in the first half. How is this turning? Shocks inside of the site. And Fuzi's up close with an AWP. They need to be aware of the second position, though. If they overcommit to the Opper, it's Rez that's sitting in wait with the AK. Shocks has him down. Liquid somehow may turn this round. Based on the flashes coming in, based on the response, and Shocks close. Closes it out with a tech nine. Oh, a gift. Now he hears the footsteps. He can't get around the corner in time. He's taking a lot of damage. Another flashbang is going to come out. He peeks with it. He's going to go down. That's the only option he really had. Plant coming in. Liquid knows the B-bomb set is clear when that much pressure comes from mid. And now we've got a post plant. Oh, they come through the smoke. Not quite yet. The post plant is in. And here comes the retake from Banana. Indeed, Elise trying to spot it out. Does a nice headshot in. That's going to let OC come back into the site. He picks two. Elise got a... He boosted up, ready to put out a Molotov with that smoke, tosses it out. Here comes the fight. Nitro is going to lead the way. Oh, that is brutal. Excuse me. It's not for the Molotov. It's a cheeky little one way. And under the gap, he's got another one. I got another one beneath, but they wrap around him way too quick. Nitro gets the entry too fast for Plopsky's position to be all that impactful. And Liquid have won another round that NIB can't even fight for. Can't even fight for it. Back it away. Shocks will go hunting again. This time a little bit more at risk for Shocks as he does have an AK that he wouldn't want to give up free of charge, unlike the Mac 10. So he's a little bit passive and timid to try and clear the top side of middle. They're going to sneak through alt mid. And Elise only getting there now is going to miss the opportunity for two kills, but may still find Fuzi jumping up, though. He's giving himself away. And I think he goes down right now. Fuzi's going to get the shot cleanly, and I don't know that Shocks is able to get to watch and wait, Fuzi. AWP, he's got the further angle, which means he's got farther to retreat. The flash forced them both off of it, but Rez 
The farmer and his carts will take them down as they try and work around toward the site. And Rez has even retreated back behind the broken wall. He's got coverage there. Shocks does have a nade. Imagine he'd be a little bit scared to use that right now. Given there's so many players staring him down, does take Rez. Now he's going to try and use utility to his advantage by putting smokes and a wide side flash. Grabs the AWP, one HP. I guess he might as well. He's got to hit a perfect shot. He's got to be spectacular. Bullets were aimed. Any other gun, I highly suspect he does not continue walking into danger. Elise gets one back. Does he get chased? Backs off. Bomb still down to that mid wall will be spotted. And that means Elise has to go back for it. When he does, he confronts Plopski and with great success, it's a three on three. Great rebuttal from Elise in this round. Two kills to keep things even. That was almost about to slip away. Good play from Rez. Sees the smoke coming. Knows he's got a window of opportunity. And Liquid, Elise, and Naf have to hit this B bomb. So they've got to do it right now. S tag ready and waiting at the off angle. He's going to get smoked off. I'm surprised he goes for that. I know he wants to get forward to the smoke, but he can back it off and play the numbers game. He was playing in CT under my impression, to, to be able to retreat and not get caught out because now a real chance for Liquid. Naf goes forward. Fousey's caught. Elise already aware that this is likely coming from CT. Rez is going to get by by a flash. So he's not confirmed, but the shots inside of Ruins will be heard now. And Elise with the AWP positioned and ready will take him down. Yeah, you might be right. Those are the decisions I think. Comes running out. Shox has found that kill. He does find it at the end of the day. S-Tag is tagged up and forced behind the corner, but it's a three on four. Rez has control of the bomb as well. And Nitro's got a chill. He's got to wait for Shox and Naf to come back to give him some assistance. They've only got one flashbang to work with. And NIP's running away with this round. The double up setup has netted them two kills so far. One's taken away. Nitro knows Rez's position. He's got another. Puts Naf in a one versus two. Not the most difficult clutch Naf has won today. And he's almost on for another. Plopsky saves everything. Molotov. Rez has a Molotov. Fuzi over towards the B bomb site is just chilling. There's so many things to slow down this hit. Confirmed. Fuzi's already pushing down Banana as well. He's not going to let them come back to that site. He's going to lock them in with the AWP. Rez, good shot from the pit. That's the AK carried over we talked about. And he gets all three as he looks up toward the balcony. He'll finish it off with a fourth as well. And it's Naf that goes down seven to six. And I people get over here. Double op setup though, and S-Tag once again actually commits himself inside the bomb site in front of the smokes. The Molotov that was there to help and protect gets extinguished. Back inside for barrels, want to go over top S-Tag though, he's still hidden back here. Still make, oh, good nade. They still haven't fully cleared the site. He's got the LVP for one. Wants to swing it. They won't go together, but they will get the kill. Not until Fuzi arrives. It's the Deagle instead for him. And Shox with 11 seconds. Oh, my God. The ball's on this man. Using the fountain to perfection, but Fuzi gets the angle while he puts the bomb down. It's not ball. Not even going to look toward now for Nitro at B. Hampus wants to go in a lead. Not efficient, but oh, 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 oh. Her shot worked out very well. Now Shocks can strike with the MP9. Plopsky swings back around, though, and cleans up the rest. 29 HP, though, just 29 HP. And the rotations are on. That setup worked absolutely perfectly. Oh, we need to see if anyone actually got fooled by Elysia's smoke. He tossed it out towards the half wall. Plopsky swings out. It's just one shot from Naf. Behind. That's going to send the signal for NIP to hustle into the B bomb site. However, there's three players here. OC at first oranges, Nitro at second oranges, Naf at coffins. This can be so deadly. First kill is OC's. There's Naf chiming in. Headshot onto Plopsky, and they still haven't discovered the third player. Inkville. So, Naf got nailed through the edge of the coffin. That's going to put him so low, he jumps somehow, matrixing the bullets as he gets back toward ruins, but Hampus's position. Shox is dead. No chance. No one checks tree anymore. Not at all. Naf does turn around to get the trade back, and Fousey's on three HP, but the bomb planted. If he can find Naf fast enough, oh, the he lines it no up. Way. He got Elise first instead. No reason not to go for this if you're liquid. You've got to buy in the next round. You need them on the board as oh, smoke to cover ruins is going to be a problem. It might ruin OC. Does he have the balls to go through this? I think he might. I think he thinks that they have safety in that smoke. He might now because fuzi has gone. S-Tag, the only one left. OC comes out. He gets caught. A swing and a turn. And now he can fade inside of that smoke. And AK picked up. But Elige will not have the time to do it. As he swings out, he'll get the kill. But there is no kid. He's got to run from the site. They'll get all five down. But no closer to getting this scoreline back on level footing. I feel like we've seen that. This is a oh, number. Point against Plopsky, though, who nails a great shot in return. What's the reaction from NIP? That's one of the B defenders that they've just taken down. They've spotted Nitro over at A. Do they call it off? 
Chalks is pushing up. This is a desperate push. With everyone around the corner, he's certainly going to be traded. Can't even get the first. So it's just clean. Naf again to try and clean it up. He's got the bomb down temporarily. Knows they've got to repush that position, but he's out of ammunition. As he goes down, it comes to a one on one. Popsky on only 29 HP and OC to save any hope that Liquid have as the bomb will be planted. It has to rotate over, and a smoke in front of the library will prohibit him from seeing directly in on the op. And he's going to close the distance as well. Gap in it. Osi's hoping that'll give him some information. It won't, and he won't have any idea if he's gone back down the lane or if he's burrowed deeper inside of the site. He will consider checking it, and he nails the shot. Long-range engagement. He'll have confirmed that Bomb is down. They know now they have to commit to this side. Misstep from Shocks, and Rez catches him out. They spot out where Elise is gone, and S-Tag drops in. It's Nitro and Naf, the two B players, and they're both rotating through middle. No kits on either, just to be... No be clear of that either. Yeah, I don't know how you do this if you're Team Liquid. It's got to be quick. Molotov is going to delay things a little bit longer. There is a flashbang on Rez inside of the bomb site, but don't need to use it. Look at all the crossfires they have set up. I don't know if Naf and Nitro might just want to pick up this AWP, but they're going to at least investigate, see if they can be given a gift. There's the kit in front of Naf as he wraps around towards Small Pit. Maybe. Now it's on. Now he can move forward, but he actually steps past the kit. Anyways, it won't matter. Nitro gets positions to give themselves a decent fight. Chalks and Cubby not detected as of yet. Doesn't want to go. OC caught, though. Good shot from Hampus. That's going to put more pressure on Elise. And Rez, he's sneaking around it. Elise gone down. He finds Shocks. They went past each other inside of the smoke, and Rez was ready. Bomb to be planted. This could be it. Seven seconds. It will still be put on the deck. And once again, it's your B players, Naf and Nitro, and Rez is so far forward inside of the library. He's going to absolutely catch off. Now for the lovely shot in the head, it's 23rd in this game, and Nitro, he's got to go back to find him, let alone four others, three others, excuse me, in the site. And he's spotted out by Hampus, MIP 16-12, they'll take the series 2-1. to one. A grueling affair, though, what a great series between these two teams. 30 rounds of the first map, Ancient, 30 rounds of the second map, Overpass, and...